Hello everyone, I'm Nino Professor. Today I'm going to show how to configure 40AP 2-2C and how can you implement your 40AP uh, with 40 gate firewall. And how can you manage uh, all of your 40AP centrally from 40 gate? So now I'm going to show how to configure it. First, to do this at first you have to uh, set an interface uh, that will be used for 40 uh, to connect to this, to this 40 gate and as well as internet okay to do this uh, you just have to select an interface and uh, you have to give an IP address you have to set an IP address uh, for this interface now uh, here you can see I uh, an IP address with subject mask 24 yeah then the next thing is you have to uh, click on cap up uh, which is the main protocol uh, for identifying uh, 40 piece cap up means control and provisioning wireless access point which will be used for detecting 40 piece by 48 okay this is the main thing this is unmarked uh, 40 AP is not identified your uh, firewall then you can set up a DCP server and set the DCP IP range uh, okay. then you can set the submit bus this will automatically set up uh, you can set a default gateway as same as interface IP it will be used uh, by your <laughs> interface uh, IP as a gateway and you can also set um, DNS server uh, same as system DNS that means that the DNS server will be used uh, as a system DNS uh, automatically by default so here we go um, the interface is set it up and uh, you can also set The main thing is cap up. Uh, you just have to remember. Okay. Otherwise, uh, the 40 AB is not detected by your uh, firewall. HTTPS uh, and HTTP and HTTPS is used for managing 40 gig, and 40 telemetry also used for uh, detecting your uh, endpoint devices, which is connected through this uh, 40 AB to 40 gig. Uh, SNMP and ping. SNMP is for managing uh, and monitoring your device from a, a login server or login server. Okay. Forty manager and forty token uh, is not needed to uh, ticked because uh, we are not going to use this uh, for our clients. Here we go. Just uh, now, now I have to go Wi-Fi and switch controller. Uh, by default, uh, this feature is not enabled by uh, FortiGet automatically. Uh, this can be enabled from System uh, Feature Visibility. And then select Wi-Fi controllers. Otherwise, after selecting after uh, selecting or enabling Wi-Fi controller uh, features, this option will be available. Otherwise, uh, this option is not uh, available by your forty-gate itself. Okay. After enabling this feature, you can go manage this here. Uh, your forty-gate uh, forty bits will automatically rejected uh, by your forty-gate. And because it is now directly connected to uh, this 40 gate that's why it's detected but uh, now you have to authorize this uh, device otherwise it won't be uh, able to configure uh, from 40 gate and uh, it's not going to 
be operational until you uh, select uh, authorized. Okay. Now uh, click on refresh. Uh, it might take some time. Uh, I'll be back when it's um, detected by uh, my forget. Now it is detected. It is detected then um, and the IP address of this 40p 7030 sorry. Now I have to set up. Uh, SSID for this AP. I already set it up one uh, SSID for this AP and now I am going to set up uh, another SSID. Okay, and to do this, just click on create new, select SSID, and then uh, give a name, interface name, uh, which is uh, 40p test. And the uh, 40p is going to work as a bridge, uh, as a bridge mode. Uh, we are not going to use tunnel mode. Uh, if, if we use tunnel mode, 40 get uh, 40p have to uh, IP from itself. Uh, we are not going to do that. We are going to use 40p as a bridge mode. Uh, in this bridge mode, uh, the 40p can get IP address directly from FortiGet. Okay, uh, so we don't have to assign any IP address for FortiP. So uh, here is my SSID uh, list underscore gateway uh, hyphen southeast. This is a uh, gateway IP which for uh, guest and the uh, preset key uh, for this now uh, local standalone uh, the, this will be used for um, providing uh, authorization uh, for user credential by itself that means the forget is not Responsible to do this. That means uh, I means that Fortigate is not responsible to uh, authorize the user credential. At this time, the 40 AP uh, will do this uh, job. Uh, I can restrict clients per society here. I study uh, should it is always uh, and leave. Uh, Broadcast uh, suppression uh, as well as default. Now click on OK. This is already saved. Now I have to degrade this ID with this uh, 4DP. To do this, we we'll just click on DP profile and select uh, SSID for each of the radio band that is uh, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Uh, if you don't want to uh, broadcast both of the SSID for both of the radio, you can uh, don't need to add each of SSID for both of the radio. Okay, now click on OK. Now um, the primary configuration is done. Now the SSID will broadcast, but is not going to be able to do access with internet. To do this, uh, I have to create a uh, IP version, version 4 policy to allow internet uh, through FortiGet. I already created the, uh, a, this policy where uh, now I'm going to show uh, the interface name is FAV test. The incoming interface should be uh, the FortiGate interface uh, which the 40p directly connected. The outgoing interface would be uh, 40p's uh, 40 gate uh, uplink interfaces. Uh, here I configured SD1 uh, with four uplink interfaces. The source 
should be all and destination should be all you can create a specific uh, you can add a specific uh, IPs for different access uh, to provide different access uh, uh, for a specific uh, users but now I am selecting all and destination all that means all users source users um, are able to communicate with all destination now uh, schedule always service all here I am going to set up uh, select I'm going to use one uh, uh, security profiles which is device profiles I'm not going to use any other uh, profiles with this uh, profile. Now click on okay. Here we go. Now I will be uh, now after creating a each of the policy, it will go down automatically. You just need to uh, drag and drop the policy to an profile places which uh, it could be execute and the best practice for this uh, you, you need to um, place this profile to a specific uh, places actually the profiles the policy uh, work by following SEO rules that means the restrictive policy should be placed upper and the um, uh, common policy should be down uh, here uh, my internet access policy which is going to be used for all users and the 40p is you is going to be used for a certain users that's why uh, the 40p policies below the internet access policy because internet access policy is widely used for all others uh, users okay if I <coughs> I'm going to um, discuss about it uh, each of the uh, policy uh, after some time now I'm going to test the internet connectivity. Is that uh, 40p is working or not? Then do that. Uh, now I'm going to disconnect my LAN connectivity, and I'm going to connect to this SSID which I uh, configured uh, already. Now. I am connecting through Kevin GF Southeast, the SSID which I created a few minutes ago. Now, you can see I am able to use internet and use YouTube. Okay. That means my 4TP is working now. Uh, the 40 p is fully operational now in my next video i will show how can you monitor and manage 40 p that's it bye